Well, it means the same thing as it did in circuits. When you have a capacitor or an inductor with an imaginary impedance, it means the voltage and the current are not in phase in that capacitor or in the inductor. We have the same thing here. The complex intrinsic impedance of the material means the electric and the magnetic fields are out of phase. How out of phase are the electric and magnetic fields in the alum aluminum, which is a good conductor? You can pause the video if you want to think about that for a moment. In a good conductor, epsilon double prime over epsilon prime is a lot bigger than 1 or 100. And that means that in the epsilon double prime term, is a lot bigger than epsilon prime. So here, if this term dominates, then we can just ignore that one, and we use an about equal to sign here. And uh, once you simplify it, which is shown out here in detail, we get 1 plus j alpha over sigma. And if you draw this in the complex plane, the real part is equal to the imaginary part, so we get a vector at an angle of 45 degrees to the real axis. So this is real, this is imaginary. And this means that in the aluminum, and actually in all good conductors, the electric and the magnetic fields are propagating 45 degrees out of phase with each other. And that's because eta has an angle of 45 degrees. Wow, we have learned a lot about how electromagnetic waves behave in free space, wood, a low loss dielectric, and aluminum, a good conductor. Table 7-1 in the Ulibi book summarizes the parameters we've been discussing with regards to electromagnetic waves propagating in different materials. Save yourself time and effort and use the lossless, low loss, and good conductor columns whenever you can classify a material as being one of those. By the way, there is nothing special, particularly special, about uh, this threshold of 0 0.01 for low-loss media and 100 for good conductors. It uh, probably is better to choose uh, thresholds depending on the application that we're dealing with, uh, but these are generally good uh, benchmarks. Take out your in-class notebooks and make a note about what we've learned about the propagation of electromagnetic waves in uh, the aluminum outer skin of the airplane. We determined it's a good conductor and that the wave will attenuate to zero um, inside the three millimeter thick outer skin. Um, write something about the speed of the wave in the aluminum and uh, how out of phase the electric and magnetic fields will be in the aluminum.